So, form development was the question. Um, I think it's important to kind of start with an idea in your head. So it might be, hey, I have, like I, I think I dropped the word tech organic. So tech, I'm just writing that down here, organic. Um, and maybe think of, think of some form that you could use as your base. So it might be ellipses or uh, uh, spheroids, you might say, um, spheres, whatever, whatever shapes you gotta do to make that um, base. So I'm, I have this idea in my head of like a collection of spheres and in those spheres might be the central uh, thing that this alien's kind of sitting in. So just gonna mix it up and, you know, just kind of sketch some shapes. And each of these shapes, you know, I'm thinking there's a cross section to these shapes, okay? So this is gonna kind of be something maybe a bit um, asymmetric. So this is kind of like a shoulder piece, I'm thinking. And now I can kind of start sketching. You know, maybe this is an arm or something. And we'll, we'll pull out the forms or shapes here as we sketch. So I'm just sketching some fingers or something on this tech organic alien suit. And perspective wise, you know, I'm looking down. So if there was a cube, something like this, so pretty, and you'll see what, you'll see what I mean here in just a sec, um, but pretty downward or uh, Look, just looking at this from the top is what I'm trying to say. All right, so something like this. And so maybe the tech parts, you know, you have this like, I can start to connect a few of these things. Maybe transition. I'm not sure what the function of this is. Maybe um, there's some tubes that come off of this alien and connect to other parts. So I can have these, these tubes. But again, all starts with these spheres. You know, and maybe these maybe these creatures um, or aliens, you know, they don't necessarily have to have everything symmetrical like we humans like to have. This could be just big belly piece and since I, I kind of put the theme tech organic, I'm trying to combine geometric shapes with um, some organic stuff as well. So like I said, these are the feet down here. It's just a matter of like the perspective and scale. Here's an arm. I'll figure out the rest of this arm in just a sec. Um, on this side, I'm gonna see a little bit of the inside connection. So maybe that's where some of the organic bits come into play, like so. Just like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this section yet, but I'll figure it out. Not too worried. In fact, if I want, again, you can kind of play with lighting and that may help as you're sketching, kind of help create the focus in the right spots that you need. Now, I don't know what this alien looks like. I just know it's kind of housed in this thing here. And I'm gonna throw some part lines on for now while I think about what this alien might, might look like. Let's see, quick chat check-in. Quake was a great game. Yes, it was. Um, I would like go to school and as soon as I got home, I would just like disappear. I was young, I'm the youngest kid in my family. Um, 
So I would get home from school and then just disappear in my room because I had a computer and it was just quake time. <laughs> That's what it was, quake time. So, and I would play till, I don't know, two in the morning sometimes, just, you know, as long as I finish my homework, I would just play and play. I also played uh, competitive chess in high school. So that was an interesting part of my life for a bit. I'm not sure if Roger is still watching the stream, but uh, Roger went to school with me and he may remember chess team days when I was doing that. All right, so I think I'm gonna get a leg out of this mess on the bottom here. This leg's a little bit raised and gotta kind of decide on what these this alien mech suit foot looks like. <laughs> but I'll figure that out down here. You know, maybe it's kind of walking. Now I can kind of see it coming together. This leg's a little bit raised up. Let's do a little section here. Just like that. And we'll have some good shadows and all that to help out. Like I said, just clean that up. Now, this arm, what should it be? You know, we kind of have this giant, almost organic, kind of weird arm, arm thing. So perhaps this one's more mechanical, you know, biomechanical or something. So some pivot points. Um, maybe we could do like a, hmm, I'm just thinking through the perspective here, so a little bit bigger. Could do like a cannon or gun or something like that, perhaps. Just some sort of biomechanical weapon, perhaps. Augustine says, hi, Spencer, I'm studying industrial design. I'd like some advice on drawing things with curvature on two axes. I don't know how to paint them. Um, I'll take some notes. What I One thing I try to do is just pay attention to what you guys want me to do. And as much as I can work it into kind of my schedule of videos for the week. Reminds me of a Bioshock character. You know, I've never actually played Bioshock. Um, after I kind of became an adult, I just ran out of time to play games. So I haven't played a ton of games in a while. All right, so we have this central piece and I'm imagining, you know, there's glass, but you're seeing kind of on the inside here a little bit. So maybe this alien mimics this form, you know, in some way, maybe these guys are bio organic or techno organic as well. If you're just joining, this is Sketch a Day live three times a week, sometimes four, where I just draw and hang out with you guys. Let me zoom out just a touch. All right, there we go. So now you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. You know, not super happy with this arm, but I'm just gonna work with it as it is. Bioshock's creepy, huh? I don't even know what the story is. Uh, the most recent game I've bought that I have, I, so I buy games sometimes with the intention of playing, but knowing full well, I may not have time to play those games. So I just bought Death Stranding, <laughs> if you know what that is, but I have not played it yet. Oh, back to the, the alien, I forgot about that. My bad. The alien guy in the suit.
I guess for scale, I could put something else on the page here. Um, I'll figure it out. Maybe another kind of lumpy clump. If we buy organic mess. So line weight's a tool you can use if you sketch rough like this and then you have like a nice clean line and you have your line weights in the right place. Sometimes it can help you really clean up your sketch as well as, you know, looking at this drawing, the central part of the drawing is kind of the focus. And so I want to make sure that details are showing here or I have the right contrast. So like on the inside of this leg, I'll probably just do something really dark. I'll have a dark shadow here. On the far side of this leg, another dark shadow. Um, but I do need to address the alien on the inside. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to do it. But I'll do some sort of creature with lots of eyes. Feels like it would be appropriate for, or maybe, maybe not even eyes so much as just kind of these lobes, but it feels appropriate for the suit, maybe that's where they kind of mimic design. So it's like this thing, just a clump of alieny flesh. And then in this, I'll make this probably dark. I'll just outline a few areas here. But some sort of alien thing on the inside. All right, that's the shadow I was talking about there. Shadow here. This arm, I'll figure that out, not too worried. One of the things with drawing is you just kind of have to jump in and just go for it sometimes. So don't be afraid to do that. Keep things loose and sketchy. You're welcome to draw along, Shane. Um, I'm not really doing this in kind of a draw and wait format. Um, I do that sometimes when I do my live workshops. So occasionally I'll, well, I used to before the world changed so much, but travel and teach. And I would go to schools or um, corporate clients and work with designers. So I think it was two years ago, almost. A year and a half ago, I actually went to Germany to work with designers at Adidas for about a week. And that was super fun. Um, I've got a couple trainings for some students in Mexico coming up. And then I'll do local stuff as well from time to time, local to me. But yeah, those are, those are the formats where I'll do kind of more of a draw with me. Sometimes more hands-on, just depends on the size of the group. And right now I'm just using a paper made flare. I'm just trying to introduce a little bit of clarity on the sketch, kind of visually eliminate some stuff here as well. So all this stuff underneath, the crotch is a little bit weird, but it's an alien, so, or an alien mech. So I'll just go with that. Um, and even this hand, I kind of want to change a few things here. But I'll, I'll have something out of the mess. Because initially I wanted it to kind of be resting on the ground, but can't really do that based on the perspective that I've drawn it in. All right, so now I can add some color and start to pop some of these things. Oh yeah, this was a cannon of some sort. So let's see if I can create some sort of tech organic aperture. 
and weapony things on this guy. Almost looks like a reverse predator head. These spheres are gonna be fun to sketch. So color, how about green and purple? Some greenish purple, gray stuff happening. We already have these green grays that are part of this set that are interesting. Green grays, blue grays. So I'll start with that. And just, just so I move a little faster, I'm gonna just kind of lean in to the values here and just kind of go for it. All right, so it, the alien we wanna pop, so I'm gonna make the cabin a little dark on the inside. Careful not to, or I'm trying to be careful rather not to shade all of the edge because I want those whites. All right, but immediately you can see how the marker just kind of cleans up the sketch on the inside. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But that's why I like to upload those sketches to the Google Drive so you guys can see what they look like to me. <laughs> put that in shadow inside of the arm. I'll put in shadow as well. This side, you know, down here, the leg. I wanted that all shadowed. Nice highlight, same thing here, but we're, we're gonna have some reflected light in the environment. So I'm leaving this edge a little lighter, right through there. All right, something like that. All right, so this is a sphere. So I'm gonna shade it a little differently, right? Than I would normally, because I want like a nice, highlight on the sphere. Um, let's see, color wise, what am I gonna do here? That's the question. I've kind of got this implied part line or section. So this upper portion could be a separate color. Um, I could continue with the gray and just have some color pops, maybe pop on the environment. So maybe the environment could be red or something, something different. All right, so now I can kind of use my markers to pull out the details that I want on this hand or the way I want it to look. And just kind of work these grays. So for a minute when I was in school, I I considered going to Art Center because I kind of, I just loved concept design. So I looked at that, I looked at uh, going to Feng Zhu, Feng Zhu's school, but ultimately just decided to stick with product design. Um, but I've always kind of enjoyed and appreciated, uh, orange and purple is a good suggestion. Um, always just appreciated concept design. So I try to do it mostly for fun. Okay, orange and purple. Let's see, I want like a desaturated purple or blue. This is dark violet, Got some lavender here. That's the other thing with Copic markers is you do have quite a bit of um, options with your colors. I forgot how many colors total there are, but if I wanted a desaturated purple, I could probably go find it in my set. All right, so let's do purple up here. Maybe the highlights are orange. Could do something like that. Yeah, I kind of like that idea actually. So we can do orange highlights, just keep building this value. I think I fixed my lighting situation for the videos too. For a while there, um, you know, if I put some ink on the marker paper, you'd kind of get this just intense glare. So thanks for those who gave feedback, ideas, suggestions. 
Appreciate it. Yeah, because right now on the paper, this is super juicy as far as the uh, marker ink goes, but I'm not really seeing too much of it show through. All right, I'm gonna have to go a little bit darker with this gray. And let's see, ah, green, gray, nine. I'll use that. Thanks for being a part of the stream, guys. We're gonna wrap it up after this one. So I gotta get back to regular life. But again, just remember contrast is your friend. It can really help clean things up or add detail where you need it. Not detail, but um, focus where you need it. If you use your contrast wisely and in the right way. Just remember lightest lights, darkest darks. It's kind of what I'm after when I do stuff like this. So maybe the alien's orange. I mean, that would create some focus there. I'll finish off this arm. Organic parts, I'll make green or more green. Some shadow here. Thanks, Shane. First time, right? Yeah, also curious to know what you guys watch on. Like, do you watch on your mobile phone? Are you watching on a computer, iPad? What are you watching on? I really hope these ribs turn out okay. <laughs> uh, we'll see. This reminds me a little bit of um, Decepticons from Transformers back in the day. Just a little bit. Man, Preet's watching on an iPad. Couple of green spots in this kind of organic section here. This weapon is tech and organic, so I'll do green and then probably a little bit of gray on this. All right, good to know. Busted Samsung S6. But yeah, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Transformers, Decepticons, uh, just a little bit. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I was gonna shade the alien orange. that in the middle. Zoom in so you can kind of see what's happening here. So I like I like pulling colors in from all over the sketch partly because it uh, for me anyways helps it feel a bit more harmonious something I've been experimenting with a little bit. Um, in my illustrations and kind of happy with it so far. So let's bring some of the orange in for these organic things. Do I use 3D modeling software in my day job? Yes, I do. Um, I use Fusion 360 as well as SolidWorks. 
Those are kind of my go-tos. But I've been meaning to get into Gravity Sketch a bit. I have an Oculus Quest. I've thought about doing some videos here. Maybe learn with me because I don't know how to do it as well as many people do online. So something I've thought about um, doing on the channel here. If that's something you'd want to see, let me know. But it would be literally me learning with you. <laughs> Lots of trial and error and figuring stuff out. But I could add some VR. I'm planning to add some Photoshop content, Illustrator as well. Just going over tools that I use as a designer and illustrator. And frankly, you guys kind of asked for it, so. Do I have tutorials on Fusion? No, I don't. Um, like I said, I'm, I, most of my experience is in SOLIDWORKS. Fusion is fairly similar. There's some things that are different and there's plenty of great tutorials online um, I can point you to. In fact, one of my friends works for Autodesk and works on that product. So I could point you guys there. This is Sci-Fi Sunday. I wonder if we should do this every every Sunday, like Sci-Fi Sunday, um, and then Fridays could be the traditional, you know, whatever you guys wanna wanna do or see. And then we could do I don't know, figure out what to do on Wednesday. But I kind of like the idea of Sci-Fi Sunday because I love sci-fi. Sets an expectation for you guys. You know what you're getting. You know when it's coming. Do 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 do. Just gotta answer a message here real quick. Boom. All right, we're almost done with this guy. Let's zoom out. I wanna clean up the bottom a little bit. So like I mentioned, just having some base color, maybe um, something to just obscure a bit of what's happening. I'm gonna go ahead and make a shadow. This guy's casting with his nondescript feet. We keep it sketchy here on Sketch Day. Keep it sketchy, keep it loose. I do tight sketches as well, by the way. Don't, uh, think this is all I do, but I'd much rather spend an hour doing two sketches or two hours doing two sketches than I would four hours on half a sketch. Because to get real tight with stuff, you have to, you have to work really hard. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just takes the fun out of it for me. I was trying to obscure some of these uh, lines with this pit art pen, just minimize it a little bit. Not really working, so I'm not gonna worry about it though. A lot of what I do is trial and error. And I think if you're not willing to try something new, you're, you're not willing to learn. So there's a bit of a life lesson and drawing lesson for you guys. Try new stuff, see what works. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Because we're always learning and growing. And 
It's a beautiful thing about life. I think next time I'll do a sci-fi gun. Got a got a request in there, but next time, because I gotta go check on my check on my ribs. Make sure they're good. I'll just finish out my gun here. Instead of ammo, maybe it's just got these little like tech things hanging off. I guess I'd like a predator face almost. What paper do I use? I'm using uh, some cheap marker paper. I decided to try, it's actually Bionyo brand. Just like the cheap markers I tried out last week. And it's pretty good. Sometimes you get a little bleed through, but for the most part, the paper is coated and contains the marker fairly well. It also helps extend the life of your markers, so if you like sketching with markers, I highly recommend um, getting some marker paper to draw on, even cheap marker paper. The best marker papers I've used are uh, Canson and Copic. They don't bleed. They um, they have good, what's the word, performance when it comes to the marker uh, ink being laid on the paper. I don't know what the word for that is, but there's great texture. So if I want to use pencil on this sketch as well, just has a really good texture for um, pencil. All right, so there's my little dude. Not totally happy with the arm here, but you know, proportion perspective wise, that kind of thing. Um, and then I probably should have been a little bit more careful with the out with, with the rough sketch. Um, if I put like a color across here in the background, it would help minimize this, but I'm not going to worry about it because I do have to run guys. But like I said, if you're not willing to try something, you're not willing to learn and it's not the best place to be. Yes, shout out to Bill Withers, who passed. All right, I'm just gonna sign this guy. And just a reminder, after the stream, I'll be working to get my brushes uploaded to the store. You'll wanna check that out. I'll do an overview later and be producing some video content for that as well. Thanks again to you Patreons and those who've contributed in the past. Much appreciated. Chris Antle, Chad Sanborn, and others. If I forgot your name, it doesn't mean I don't care. It just means that I have a brain like a sieve sometimes. All right, let's add just a little bit of white to this glass using that pit pen. You know, these, these orbs or whatever makes up this, this robot or mech suit, I should say. A couple of stipples here and there. You kind of want to use your white as the last step if you do have one of these pens. And then I'll go brighter with the acrylic sunset pink background. I mean, I could. <laughs> do I want to right now? I am probably overcooking my ribs at this point, so I'm gonna have to run. Um, but maybe I'll maybe I'll tweak it after and show you guys in the upload.
All right. Well, thanks guys for joining. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on alerts. If you like the video, share it. Most importantly, if you learn something, share it. And by share it, I mean the thing you learned, not necessarily the video. Um, I do believe in giving back as much as possible. Um, pay it forward. So I do this because I love it. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can do the same and just share. Share what you know. Share what you love. Stay safe this weekend. Monday's coming. Get some relax. Get some time to relax and chill. I'm gonna go enjoy my meal. Here's just a quick recap of what we did today. So we have this little character guy, and Lynette was so awesome in suggesting we do a moon rover. Um, definitely, I'm definitely happier with this one. There's some things I would tweak. I could probably Photoshop in this guy, but. Um, totally having fun and yeah, keep sending suggestions. You can even send me suggestions via email. If you want, it's just Spencer at sketchaday.com. Send me those suggestions and I'm happy to see if I can incorporate those in one of the live streams.